Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Pecron 2000 watt portable power station. This is a 2000 watt. I love doing the unboxing. I want you guys to see how this thing comes, okay? So it comes in two boxes. Let's get these open. All right, so this is what it looks like when it, you open your box. You have your charger. It has an external charger. It comes with this case. Get this open, and you can see in here it has your manuals. This is your car charger. This is your car charger, DC charger. This is your MC4 to some sort of aviation cable to solar charge. You get two of those, and a cover comes with this cover so you can cover your uh, power station I don't recommend you using this when you're running the inverter do not cover and use it this is only for storage this is a storage bag comes with this nice case so you can keep it all protected over here we have this box this is where the AC charger is. Let's get this open. As you can see right here, you get this AC charger, the wall plug for it, 120 volts. Plug that in right here and you can use this. You can get up to, I think, 600 watts using this thing. It's a 42 volt, 15 amps, lithium ion battery charger because this thing does have a lithium ion battery in it get up to 600 watts using this i do prefer if the brick is inside the power station because once you see this there's one thing you don't get you you don't you do get pass through charging meaning that you can charge it and use it at the same time but you don't get ups And UPS is probably one of the most important things to me when it comes to the 2000 watt portable power station. Let's get this thing out of the box. Really nicely insulated. It's real, almost an inch and a half thick foam padding all the way around. All right, so there you have it. The Pecron E2000 LFP. Right here, you have the DC input. You can input up to 100 watts right here, 12 volts to 18 volts max. This is an own MPPT uh, controller. You have two more controllers right here, MPPT controllers with the avi aviation style plugs, 32 volt up to 95. This is one of the highest I've seen so far, 95 volts up to 600 watts. You have two of these. So you have 1200 right here and another 100, that's 1300 watts input, okay? Not one, but six 120 volt plugs, 20 amps. Okay, when you come over here, you have the USB plugs over here. One 100 watt, one 18 watt USB-C, 18 watt, and three on the bottom, five volt, two amp. You got your cigarette lighter over here. This is a 12 volt, 10 amp. And you have two 55, 21 plugs, each five amps, all right? We're going to focus more on this test, more on the AC load test. This is what you guys want to use this for. Not too many people use the DC. Probably charge a phone or something, but you really focus on the AC load. So we're going to load this thing. We're going to find out the peak wattage it can put out and see if it can run a microwave and the 8000 BTU AC. It comes with an external brick. If you guys know, I don't really like the external brick. I prefer everything inside because when you have the external brick, you know what you miss. You do not have the UPS feature. But this one is pass-through capable. So you can use it and charge it at the same time. Meaning that if you have solar panel, you could have two sets of solar panel MPPT charge over here. So you can charge it and use it at the same time. With the lack of UPS feature, you can't have passed through, meaning that plug it into the wall and when you lose the power, it will take over the load. When the power comes back, it will automatically charge. And that's why I wish it had internal charger so you could have that UPS feature. It does come with a nice case. 
So, cigarette lighter for the car and two of these for solar charging. All right, guys, let's get the test started. The first one we're gonna do, we'll see if it can run a microwave. We'll see if it can run a BTU, a 8,000 BTU AC. Then we'll take 2,000 watts and see exactly how much this thing can put out. Let's get the test started. All right, before we do that, open circuit 46.1, max power voltage 36.8, 320 watt. It's kind of late in the day, so we're not gonna get that. But I just wanna show you guys it does have solar, large solar panel capability, all right? So I'm gonna use this tracker and plug it in right now. I'm gonna come over here and plug this in right here. Okay, it's gonna pull low 75, there you go, 100 and something. Let's plug in the microwave. Plug in the microwave. Okay guys, we got one minute on the microwave. We'll come over here. Let's get this display on so we can see that. Push that start button. There you go. So it is capable of running a microwave with absolutely no problem. You can see the microwave running over there. Pulling 1,100 watts. Absolutely no problem. And you have 145 watts coming in on solar. So you can, that's why it's called pass-through charging. You have uh, the capability of using it and charging it at the same time. And you can actually add two solar panels. So you can plug another solar panel in right here. Or a DC input. That minute is almost up, no problem. There you go. One minute's up. No problem. Okay, guys, we're going to come over here. I'm going to get the AC. Plug in the AC. Come over here and turn it on. See the fan came on. It's pulling 116 watt. Basically, look, you have 142 coming in on solar. 117 on the fan with that AC. So it's just pretty much running off solar right now. If you come right here, you toggle through the AC, you get the watts from the solar, the power using from the AC right now, 117 watts, and the hours it will run it, 999 watts, 999 hours. Click that, it'll go to voltage, 119 volts, power factor, 60 hertz and back to the time and the watts over here it will show the 99 percent on the battery if you click the dc it'll show you the actual voltage 26.3 meaning that it has a 24 volt battery in this thing or you can keep it right here at 99 percent so you get lots of information from this display real big i like that it's easy to read even in this bright weather out here There you go. You saw that surge, 795 on the uh, 8000 BTU AC. Nice and cold right now. Feeling real good. So you can run this thing 3.3 hours on the battery. If you had more solar, let's say you had 1200 watts of 12 solar coming in, you could run this thing indefinitely because you'd have more coming in. I mean, it's only pulling 600 watts. And you can see the uh, stats right here, 8,000 BT. So guys, it will run a window unit. Just add some more solar. If I came over here and plugged in this 500 watts, I think I get about 520 out of this thing. Come over here, I can actually plug it in this. I just plugged in the AC. I want to show you guys what I mean. So if you had more solar coming in, so I have one right here and the solar, I'm pulling 665 watts in, 
650 watts out. I can run this thing 24 hours a day just on 600 watts coming in. So if you had a window unit like this and 600 or 700 watts of solar, you can run this thing all day long. And you can see it right here. Let's get another 600 watts and you could run this thing indefinitely all day long. Have your AC, once the AC shuts off, it would cycle, no problem. So now we're gonna load test this thing. We're gonna max it out, see exactly where it shuts off, all right? I got this lights over here, 2000 watts. I'm gonna be adding power to it. And let's see if we can get that 2000. There you go, we're at 1250. 1005 see it's pushing out some heat now from his lights here you are at 1700 still holding strong I, I don't like how fast it times out but I guess that's good for saving power okay we're right at 2000 watts no problem So you can pull 2,000 watt for right at close to an hour. Or so, you know, it's pretty good. Let's go back up to 2,000. Oh, there it is. Shut off. So it, it held it for a long time. Let's go ahead and restart this. Okay, now let's see the max. Okay, so it will hold 2,000 watt like it says for a long time. Let's do that again. Okay, we just reset it. Now let's go to the max. Okay, so it's right at 2,082 watts and it shuts off. So you get right about 2,082 watts and it overloads that's perfectly fine and it has an alarm that lets you know it's been overloaded one thing I like to show is that the units off right now I have the AC charger I want to plug it in so just to show when you plug it in will it turn on the unit there you go so once you plug it in it will turn the unit on and start charging so that's good. Most units, even though you plug them in, they won't come on to charge. Just the AC unit by itself with the external brick, I'm getting right around 533 watts. And it's telling me just to get it full charge, it'll be right about 20 minutes from 93, at 93%. Just that by itself will take right around three and a half hours. Two of these, you can get it down to two hours. So you can buy a separate one to boost. I'm gonna plug this car charger in and see exactly what we get when we're charging it. All right guys, we're gonna check out the uh, DC side of this thing. Let's turn it on. So I got the DC barrel plug. I'm gonna plug it in right here. I have the other hand hooked on to another portable power station cigarette lighter. Plug this right here. And as you can see, if you're charging from a car charger, you're gonna get right around, maybe around 100. It's ramping up slowly. Okay, got right at 76, 77, and that's it. That's the max I'm getting out of it. So if you plug in this to a car charger, you're gonna get right around 76, 75 watts. And that's gonna take a long time to charge. If you're looking at 24 plus hours. So on a long trip, that might help. All right guys, one thing that I know you guys wanna see is that this thing has a pure sine wave you can see right here has a perfect pure sine wave 
and on the DC side it does have a regulated DC output 13.7 when it comes to weight you can see right here it weighs right at 47.8 pounds okay so there you have it pure sine wave regulated DC output and it weighs right at 47.8 pounds all right guys thanks for watching this quick review I just wanted to show you guys everything this thing can do true real world load test pure sine wave regulated DC output perfect portable power station for someone looking for something it is on the heavy side so don't think it's some light thing you can just jog around with it's it, it has some weight to it 47 pounds almost 48 pounds so guys thanks for watching this quick review have a great day bye